Gilded Cages, circa 600 BCE. Wealthy Chinese noblemen and women protected their extremely long fingernails with precious metal and jewel encrusted nail guards. More than just a fashion statement, long nails were a symbol of wealth and leisure. Here we are generations later and worlds apart with one glaring similarity. Nails remain that fashion statement. In order to create my gilded cage, I needed to make a mold to ensure a perfect fit. I'm doing that with blue tack and shrink wrap. The great thing about shrink wrap is that it is lovely and thin. So when I sculpt out the gilded cage with sculpting gel, I will be able to easily slide it off the finger and still have the perfect fit when it needs to go back on again. Breeze's sculpting gel worked really well for this part of the project because I had full control over the placement of my product and within two layers got a great even surface. Hand filing can remove any of the final uneven spots or any sharp areas as well as smoothing out the surface completely and thinning out the nail cage. E-file the groove down the center of the nail cage. This will give the nail cage a little bit more flexibility. So when sliding onto the finger, it creates a snug fit. So it's time to start decorating. I'm starting off using CND Perfect Polymer Warm Pink and Retention Plus to create a band all the way along the groove that I've just created and the top of the nail cage. In order to sharpen the edges, I've grabbed the e-file again and can just create lovely sharp 90 degree angles all the way along the band. Embellish the edges with studs, held into place with resin. And now we seal the entire cage with, you guessed it, creative play, let's go antiquing. The perfect look and the perfect color for this ancient artifact. To create an even more aged effect, take a thin layer of Blackpool shellac and press it up against the ledge created with liquid and powder. Use a dry gel brush to fade out the black pool, creating even more depth. And now for the bling. Select four rhinestones of your choice and secure them onto your nail cage with liquid and powder. In order to create a rich gold setting around each stone, use a mixture of gold pigment with clear perfect polymer powder and press it gently up against each stone. Using the same gold mix extending from each of the rhinestones, create some dimensional petals. I was going for a baked enamel finish to these petals. In order to do that, I applied a thin layer of cream puff shellac to each petal before highlighting each and every one with one of the shades from the shellac collection. Each petal is finished off with a generous layer of Duraforce, which creates a slight dome and a great depth effect. Place your chain and finally the Aurum rhinestones from Swarovski in a generous layer of Duraforce to secure them into place. The finishing touch is to cap the cage with a gorgeous gold nail cap. We can't leave it there, so add a couple more embellishments secured into place with Breezer Gel. I felt that any true nobleman or noblewoman would deserve two different designs on each hand. So for my second design, I created an embossed look using Breezer Gel in order to create 3D roses. Wider petals need more pressure on the brush, thinner petals less pressure. Seal the entire design once again with creative play, go antiquing and using black pool create shadowing effect which once again highlights or accentuates the roses within the gilded cage. Using the pigment polymer mix and a dry mix ratio create the body of a butterfly on the second nail cage. 
By using a drier mix ratio, you'll have more control over the tiny polymer beads. The wings of the butterfly are created using rhinestones. These are securely held into place with clear polymer. Place medium wet beads of pigment polymer mix in between your embossed roses and gently press multicolored Swarovski rhinestones into this great consistency. It creates a suction and rims each rhinestone individually. And there we have it, the end result and my spin on gilded cages. Hopefully that these designs would be just as desirable now to those noblemen and women as the designs were all those years ago. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey into experimenting with product to recreate ancient artifacts. <laughs>